suited up, trained and almost ready for space. Once you get it on, it's fine. These are the final steps of a long journey for former Army officer Tim Peake. Next month, he'll become the first British astronaut to fly to the International Space Station. Today, he finished his final practice session at Star City near Moscow. He began the day squeezed into a life-sized model of a Soyuz capsule and practiced a re-entry to Earth, while instructors threw technical problems into his path. It's always good when you go through these emergencies. Some of them take you to places in the checklist you haven't been before. Um, and actually it gives you confidence that you know that provided you will work together as a team, you follow the procedures, then you can complete the mission and get back safely. Peak has been training for more than two years. He's practiced extreme survival and become used to the eerie feeling of being weightless. All of that is his ticket to here, the International Space Station, where he'll join six other astronauts and cosmonauts already orbiting the Earth. This is a mock-up of the Russian half of the International Space Station. And to give you a sense of scale, it's about 50 metres from end to end. And it's in a module like this one, where Tim Peake will spend most of his time. This is the Zvezda module, and it's in really cramped quarters like this that the cosmonauts will be living and working for several months at a time. Peak's big moment is getting closer, and despite the difficulties of space, he's still got some specific creature comforts in mind. I might get to watch the new Star Wars in space, um, which would be wonderful to see that. Are you a Star Wars fan? A huge Star Wars fan, yes, and I'm just introducing my two young sons to Star Wars at the moment as well. Space food has got a lot better, but there must be something you're going to miss when you're up there. Uh, most definitely, yes. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> uh, it's, I, I went on an expedition to Alaska when I was 18, and I think you only really know what you're going to miss when you're actually in the situation, you start missing it. But people have said things like pizza and just a fresh cup of coffee, that kind of thing, not having to drink stuff from rehydrated uh, foods and tin foods all the time. So there'll be lots of things I'll miss. In a few weeks, Tim Peake will make history. The countdown to his launch has already started. Alok Jha, News at 10, Star City, Russia.